Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is brought to you by R.W. Prime. Good times, great steaks. Located at Resorts World, New York City. Murph's Famous Bloody Mary Mix. One sip, one believer, party with the Murph. Shallon Self-Defense Center. Classes for men, women, and children. Kick with the best. Fire News. Serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental. Located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumay. Fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service. Serving the food industry since 1963. Located in Farmingville, New York. FDNY engine 326. You guys are in with 160, right? Or 160. 160. Oh, 160. <laughs> okay, that, that's the truck across the floor. I got Chris Landano. What's up, Chris? Hey, Ray. Awesome. And I got Jesus Marcano. How you doing, Ray? So we got Landano, Marcano, Cooney. One of these things doesn't belong. What a mix. Right. What a mix. All right. So I got two Italians, and then you got little, little Ray in, 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 the, front, in the middle. <laughs> um, what are we making? Hey, Seuss. Well, today we're going to be making a little uh, little dish for you. All right. I like to call these my Irish enchiladas. No, I'm kidding. There's really no... Uh, <laughs> and, and it's kind of horrible because, you know, in the firehouse, I came into the firehouse and, uh, you know, I have one meal. And unfortunately... You got I'm a Hispanic. few meals. Well, I got a few meals, but few this meals. is the meal that everyone always wants. And I don't know if it's a little racist, whatever, but hey, we're not going to go there. But it, it's, of course, enchiladas. So we're gonna be making. So whenever some, uh, you work, you make enchiladas. Pretty much, everyone's always asking for them. So I mean, I'll, so now they ask you something different. What do you say? We're making tacos. We're making tonight. tacos, yeah. Make some little, tacos, little tacos, little burritos. Uh, I, I, I make burritos and I make quesadillas. So <laughs> ironic. Oh, right, there you go. But uh, yeah, but we got a little uh, chicken, chicken enchiladas today. Um, so we're gonna be making these today. Um, see a chicken. I'll just tell you one little story. Um, when I worked in uh, 127 Jamaica, we actually had we had a uh, truck out. I drove to a story. I, I told the story once before. And uh, we were making chicken enchiladas or something like that. And, and, and I made this unbelievable chicken tip, uh, enchilada. And to melt the cheese, yeah. it, took, it took like 20 minutes to melt the cheese on top of it. <laughs> I, like, I, 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 I ruined them. All right, so there we go. All right, so uh, what we're going to be uh, starting with today, we're going to actually uh, we're gonna make some uh, brown rice. Okay. Uh, we're going to make some, well, basically rice and beans. But I thought. Uh, rice and beans and uh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus with some rice, rice and, and beans. beans. Okay. But I got an Italian last name. How you doing? What's that about? <laughs> so we got some rice and beans, black beans, um, little onions that we put in there with some uh, some peppers, just for a little bit of colors here. Um, we got some uh, sofrito. This is for you, uh, little ethnic uh, now, what proprietary is mix. A little proprietary mix, I like to tell people. I really don't know what exactly it is. I, I just know I grew up on this. So you grew up in Queens? No, no, no. I'm, I'm uh, I live in Queens now. I'm actually in Glendale. But I actually grew up in Glen Cove. I'm from Long Island. From Long Island. Yes, I'm sir. a Long Island boy. I would say Dominic's. Which hey, is you don't feel about it. I'm from Glen Cove. Glen which Cove is, High. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are a bunch of lids. A bunch of. Oh, very nice. Yeah, Long yeah, Island. Yeah, I can't yeah, say the yeah. last part. Yeah. Very nice. I've always. All the city guys that I've known, I know this one guy, this one boxing guy, he was a sanitation worker. This guy's name was George Lawler. Great guy. And he, he was from. Uh, he grew up in East New York. And he used to call us leaf rakers. So you love that's, a new, that's a new one. I'm a leaf rake, and he's like, hey, you guys rake leaves. Yeah, we don't have that problem in Queens. Yeah. yeah. Now you grew up in Queens. You're a Queens I grew guy. up in Queens, yeah. I grew, oh. up, I grew up in Glendale. In oh, Glendale, okay. That's why Jesus is there. He, he's following me. He's following yeah, you, right? Yeah. Glendale. That's some Myrtle's Turtles over there. Myrtle's yeah. Turtles. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to get out of here. Nothing, nothing wrong with Glendale, but uh, I miss my Long Island. You getting back? Yeah, it's yeah, nice. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to get back, so. Are you going to become Volley when you when you move out to Long Island? Ah, negatory, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. nothing against Volley. True New City, York City right? They, they got to do what they got to do, but yeah, that's that's a little too much for me. But yeah. hey, hey, to each his own. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so like I said, we got rice and beans, uh, black beans. Um, we have our 
Actually, today we're gonna be actually using our hands, our man paws. We're gonna be uh, crushing these tomatoes here. Usually in a firehouse, we do it with blenders, but you know what? I feel like we gotta put a little TLC, little little we'll mush it. I don't mind the mush it. The food. So we're gonna mush some of this, and this is gonna be. Uh, do we put on EMS gloves, or we just do it with our bare hands? Hey, we we we're all men here. Yeah, I'm washing our hands. We wash our hands. Our, hands, our man paws. So we're gonna be crushing these tomatoes. Um, we're gonna put a little spice. We got some jalapenos that we're gonna put it be putting into it. Give it a little kick. Um, some onions. It's pretty much, we're making a red sauce. It's like a little Sunday. I, I have to say, Jesus, this is the most colorful dish I think we've had so far. It's, it's, and this is the fullest table that, I, that I've had starting out with the... Uh... Well, also, we're gonna, you know, of course, what's an enchilada with that little guacamole? So we're gonna uh, do a little uh, little guac, a little Irish guacamole. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty much it. So uh, well, it's green, so it's Irish guacamole. Yeah, why not? Why not? St. Patty's oh, green. It's good to go. I, 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 had to, I had to represent, you know, all ethnicities here. With I, this love video, so. I love it. I love it. A little bit of everything. All right, so let's get started. All right, beautiful. So uh, you know what? We can actually start off the rice. Okay. Um, so I'll bring the water. You want me to start yep. crushing these? Yeah, you can start crushing I'm, those, yeah. I'm, I'm the assistant. Yes, I really please, don't, the assistant. I really don't do much cooking. Actually, guys we, in the we, need, now. we need more cameras in a firehouse because this is the most work I've seen Land Do Nothing do <laughs> ever. Is that what they call Land Do Nothing? Of course, Land Do Little or Land Do Nothing. Land Do Nothing, Land Do Little. Land Do Little, that's it. They put it right All in right. the pot. They know. All right, yep, so we got the rice. Uh, actually, that's gonna go straight in a pot, and uh, if we wanna start dicing, uh, actually, you know what, we're gonna first do, apologies, we're gonna start, we're gonna, we're gonna get this going, okay. we're gonna get some olive oil, we're gonna get the olive oil going, and, and uh, some garlic and some onions, and we're gonna cook that. Let, right, it, so little, that let it simmer for a little bit, yeah. So we can actually put this there, you got the olive oil a little bit. All right, so uh, you keep doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, doing what you're doing. All right, I'm gonna, you're gonna doing grab something. the olive oil. So we got so much stuff on this table, I love yeah, it. We gotta start right. getting rid of this stuff. All right. So, so as you put in a little so bit of olive oil in there, olive oil. Squirt. Olive oil. I'll try not to squirt you guys. All right. So land do nothing. <laughs> All right, ready? Make sure you no know 1075. We don't want any 1026s here. <laughs> you All see, right. now that he called you land do nothing, it's gonna stick. And now, no, I'm just That's my nickname. I'm, I'm okay, yeah, he's, okay he's with okay it. I got with thick it. skin. I can take it. Make All sure right, bring so put that right in. Yep. It's got onions and garlic. Expedite this a little bit. Yeah, yeah he, he does. He takes a long time. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you, but, but no, I don't want to. I'm not going to complain because this, I like popped, I said, I popped the first one and look at look at what happened. <laughs> this is the first. This is the first. So now I've I actually seen him get his hands dirty. Right, I'm trying to protect him. Okay. He's protected us. He plays a good supervisor. That's, That's what he it. does in the fight. He, he's, he's definitely the, uh, management. He's, he's, they, they call the viewers at home, they can't see that the first one went all over the place. They should call him the foreman. The news. That's exactly what he does in a firehouse. The video guy. Teachers don't know. All right, that's good right. enough. You don't have to go too crazy. We like a little chunky. A little chunky, right. here we go. Grab some loads, yeah, you got it. All right, you can just throw that right in there. All right, I just got it on my hand now. I'm gonna oh, need another towel. And actually, what we can do now is uh, we, want, we can dice some of these jalapenos. And jalapenos are all accordingly to how spicy you want it. You can make it as spicy as you want or, or not as spicy. I mean, in a firehouse, we like to dump these in because firemen tend to like spicy foods. Not all of us, but for the most part, we, we, uh, if it's not spicy, if it's not making your eyes see, you, you clear out, clear out your, your, your uh, sinuses, it's no good. And if you don't like spicy in the firehouse, you don't tell anyone you don't like spicy because you will find spicy in your food every meal. Bre breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, some spicy eggs. So we're gonna take a little handful of uh, the jalapenos and we're just gonna add it into the sauce. Okay. So it's gonna be simmering right now and we'll give it a little, uh, we'll just stir it up a little bit. Let everything kind of mend in there, mesh. A little more, or is that enough? Uh, you know what? That's that's good. I know you don't like spice, even though you are. All right. So I'll get rid of what I got. All right. So I'm gonna get rid of the rest of them. We don't need those. What else we got? All right. So you know what? We can actually start with the uh, while that's simmering, and halfway, like maybe about half an hour, once it starts bubbling a little bit, we're actually gonna put a little bit of uh, um, we got some chicken broth. Put maybe a cup of chicken broth or so, and then we have also half and half that we're gonna put into the uh, into the, the rice sauce there. But we're okay. just we'll, we'll just wait just for that to that. boil. Yeah, we're gonna wait for it to boil a little bit, and okay. uh, we should be good. Now what we can do is we can start the rice. All right, so we're gonna take the rice and get the rice. Nice, delicious brown rice, brown as rice. we can see. I'm gonna dump that right in. And already in the rice, we have water. We have a little bit of olive oil. You can add salt if you like. I'm not a big guy that that cooks with salt. Just trying to keep the sodium down for. Uh, not for any health purposes, but I like just salt. you like salt, yeah. <laughs> a little hypertension, so uh, forget about it. Right. You know what? If, 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 it it needs, if it needs salt, you could always add salt and pepper. Correct, yeah. That, that's something that you add as needed. All right. What All we're right. gonna do is we're gonna wait for that to boil because we gotta to we gotta wait for uh, we gotta throw the broths in. Correct, correct. So yeah. I'm gonna go to our safety tip, and we'll be right back.
I'm Firefighter Ray, and today we're gonna do stop, drop, and roll. I've got my trusty little helper firefighter here today, Jake. Say hello, Jake. Hi. All right, now Jake is gonna demonstrate stop, drop, and roll. We don't wanna run if we get on fire because that'll feed oxygen to the fire. We wanna stop right where we are, drop down to the floor, and then roll back and forth. Are you ready, Jake? Yes. Say, oh no, oh no, I'm on fire. All right, let me see you stop, drop, and roll back and forth. Oh my goodness gracious. Jake, the fire is out. Come on up, Jake. I'm Firefighter Ray, and these tips? Uh, uh, save our lives. They save our lives, very nice. I'll see you guys next time. We have got a lot going on here. We've got sauce yeah, cooking in the back, we got rice on. I got beans, cheese, tomatoes. Half and half. Half and half chicken. This is completely insane. All right, Jesus. All right, before we move on to anything else, just because I hear this stuff boiling on back here, I don't want to mess up my rice. Um, I can see we're almost, uh, all the water's dried off. Pretty much my, my, little, my, little, my little tricks for rice is, uh, I pretty much fill up, put the rice, I boil the water first. I leave about maybe half an inch to an inch of water above the, the top level of the rice. Once the water's boiling, you put the rice in, you let all the, uh, the water boil off the rice. Once you see that, you give it a quick little stir. You cover it and you put it on uh, low flame. You let it simmer in about maybe 25 minutes, half an hour, your rice is cooked. That's an old trick. My mom taught me how to cook rice because yeah, we I don't know how to cook rice before. Secret? Oh, it's not really a family. Oh, well, I guess it was a family secret. Now. It's not a secret Ancient anymore. Ancient Puerto Rican secret. Huh? There we go. There we there go. Hey. Good. So we, like uh, we're going to put it down to a simmer, and, and uh, right. Ray, my man Ray back there is going to uh, cover it up cover and put it, it down to a simmer, and, and we should be good to go. Actually, I see the, uh, the red sauce is boiling, so what we'll do is, uh, watch stuff, Ray, I don't, wanna, I don't sure. want you to burn yourself here. We're going to actually dump in uh, chicken broth, okay. and we'll dump in the uh, half and half, yeah. Very nice. We're getting phone calls here. Well, this is, we're in a working firehouse right now, all right? So if you hear trucks outside, you have phones ringing, you might hear alarms go off, which we've had. That's what, that's what's going on here. All right, we gave a little quick stir there. And before we go on, I, I gotta, you know, I gotta give, uh, I gotta give props when props are uh, needed. This actual recipe here is my mother-in-law's recipe. Mom, um, I, I had to do it, you know? I stole your recipe, but hey, I'm giving you the proper props, and uh, thank you for a great meal. And he's in giving the out house. your secrets on the rice. The firehouse, <laughs> the firehouse loved this meal, and, and thank you, thank you for the uh, the meal that so you. So not only did she, is your mother or your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law. My mother, mother gave me the, the secrets for the rice, okay. and then my mother-in-law gave me it. Me, I watched to make this recipe. I just kind of you know twerked it to myself, and uh, oh, now man. now I made it mine. You know, so, I, oh my he, god! He, 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 it sounds like he's kissing butt a little bit. Mm. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hey, hey, Zeus, I had my father-in-law on the show three times. I get it. Hey, I you do. You got to do what you got to no, do. Christmas father, is coming up. Father, look, great show. This is a great show. All right. Good. All right. All so right. while that's cooking, you know what? We're gonna take uh, take care of the the chicken because actually the chicken is the first thing that we do because it takes about an hour or so to cook the chicken. So um, Ray, you got the knife. Hey. Okay. The man with the, man with the tool. You got to use it. So, so here uh, we go. Still cut yourself, please. I'll I don't try feel like doing any mess. All right. So, so, we're so clean of course, it up, yeah, right? you clean it up. You got to cut the fat off. Clean right. it up. That's it. And then you save all that fat. Yeah, yeah. You, can, uh, you can actually fry it. Make it fry it. I, I used to give it to my dogs. Oh, really? I used to give it to my dogs. Yeah, we have a guy in the firehouse who actually he fries up all the fat and makes chicken nuggets, little honey mustard sauce on the side, barbecue, you're good to go. And then we butterfly it? No, no, we, we actually leave it. We leave it just to burst the way it is. We right, like, we like brush the way they are. So put it right back there. Especially when we make it. Don't worry, I'm going to clean all this. This is a cutting board to firehouse. Yes. And everyone freaks out when you're cooking chicken, but. Would you say, sis, we like the breast the way they are? Oh, when we're cooking chicken, chicken enchiladas, right. the breasts have to stay. Go. The breasts have to stay. Uh, you don't fillet them. You don't All right, so chicken's right. cleaned up. So we're gonna get a um, we're gonna get a pan. Or actually, okay. we're gonna get a uh, we're, we're gonna get a, uh, a tin, right? A tin, yeah, a tin. We're gonna fill it up with a little bit of water. All right. We'll fill that up with a little water. All right. Oh, we can put it in there. We can put the we can put the chicken in there first. We'll okay. prep it. And before we do this, of course, we'll clean the chicken, we'll cut the fat off and whatnot, just because, like Ray was saying, a lot of guys get freaked out with chicken. Yeah, right? Oh, my God, it's chicken. chicken. Everyone freaks out. All right, so, so we got our chicken. We got our chicken here. A lot of times we'll use more. We'll have more chicken, because in our firehouse, we cook for 13. Here we're cooking for a couple guys, so a little, little different. We actually have chicken already cooking, so. Uh, but with this, what we like to do, we clean it up. Um, we eat a little salt, pepper. All right. And then we have our jalapenos. We'll throw, sprinkle our jalapenos on there, on the chicken. All right. I'll take a little salt. There you go. 
I'm not a big salt guy, so I don't put too much salt on it. He put actually put a lot of salt on it, but like I said, this is all as per. Uh, so six, then we eight, cover that. We put that in the oven. Yep, you cover it with aluminum foil. You put a little water on the bottom. Okay. That's because you want it to basically, um, you, you want it to kind of like simmer in the oven. Uh, well, you know, with the steam, you want it to like basically you're steaming the chicken in the oven. How long do we let it cook? For? Uh, about an hour, about, about 350 hour. to 400. Okay. I mean, the longer it cooks, the better, better it is because basically after this is all done. We're actually gonna um, take two forks and pull the chicken apart. Okay. It's like almost like pulled pork, but pulled chicken, and it just basically just oh, breaks nice. apart very, very easily. So the longer you cook it, the better off you are. Just make sure you do have water in there, because if not, it's just gonna dry out, and you're kinda no, no bueno. All right, so uh, that's all going. We're mm -hmm. actually gonna start the guac. Actually, I'm sorry, before we start the guac, let's get our beans. Let's, let's start cooking our beans. Okay. So with the beans, I like to think uh, it, it's, it's like a soup. We just kinda throw everything in a pot, I start with my little sofrito. Sofrito? Which yeah. we don't know what it is. It's some secret it, it, it's pa some, papaya. Yeah, it's uh, it's some secret uh, proprietary blends. <laughs> like if you ever if you ever had like protein drinks, you look in the back, it always says proprietary blend. It's like it's pretty much yeah, we you know, know what it is. Proprietary about that. Alright, we got our beans. Like I said with the beans, we put uh, we leave everything, all the juices and everything in there. Stays in. I love it. This is looking good. Looking very good. We're gonna add some onions. Very nice. And we're gonna add some uh, peppers. Hey, Chris, if you don't mind uh, handing out a little bit, do something. Some peppers. All right, Lynn Doolittle did something. He just did another thing. That's two things he's done. Wow. No, I, no, no, I, I only, you're, he's up for more. I only did two. He's up for more. All right. So pretty much, my average like I said, it's gonna look like a soup. Um, but you put this on the oven. You put this in the, uh, on the stove. Let it let it cook. You put it on high heat. Because you want it to boil. Once it comes to a boil, then you uh, just let it simmer, and you should be good to go. Beautiful. All right, so that's cooking. We're going to get into our guacamole next. Guacamole. guacamole. So before we do yes. anything, I'm going to clean up. All right, I got chicken on my hands, chicken on the table. We got to sanitize this place. And let's go to a fire tip. When we come back, we will make some guacamole. Hi, I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is the track belt 360. I'm here with Chris Landato of 326. He's an active firefighter and he invented the track belt 360. Chris, tell us about the track belt. Thanks, Ray. Well, I am a uh, professional photographer. I uh, ran into a problem a few years ago photographing in a building collapse for the fire department. Worked with their forensics unit and I was trying to get, make my way out after I, I got the photos that I needed and I got caught up and I needed something like this where I could just rotate my pouches. What I had to end up doing was I got I got caught up on some debris, so the existing belt that I had, I had to pop it and drag it behind me with all my, my gear getting dirty and rocks and everything going into it. So while I was on my hands and knees crawling out, I said to myself, this is what I need. And I invented the Track Belt 360. Great for contractors, carpenters, anyone who wears tools or gear on their waists. But it's also got use for EMTs and paramedics. It could be used for confined space rescue. And as you can see, I mean, all I did was create the belt with the attachment system that can work with any industry pouch. Unbelievable. What I like about it, I mean, we have to do that re reduced profile where we make ourselves thinner, get through a confined space. You just push everything to one side and- Absolutely. You know, it gives you more versatility yeah. and options than any other belt on the market. One of the coolest things I saw, he has a little infomercial, is he can slide all the tools to the back if you're gonna carry it and climb a ladder. Right, That's right. all fine And, and that's what a lot, right, exactly. So what happens is most pouches that you'll find in Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere in the market, the pouches are stitched and they're, they're stitched for you to reach them, access everything conveniently. So now you go up a ladder and you're hitting everything. I love it. How do I find out about the Track Belt 360? You can come to our website, which is trackbelt360.com. That's T-R-A-K-B-E-L-T 360.com. I'll have a link to that website on the firehousekitchenshow.com. Well, I'm Firefighter Ray. Chris, thank you so much for coming Thanks, on. Thanks, brother. Uh, awesome. And this is our five fact for today. Very, very cool. That fire fact was awesome. Now you're wearing the belt right now. I am wearing the belt. Let me get my water bottle and get a drink. Look at that. And if I needed a spatula, could you get me a spatula? I can get you a spatula, right? Holy cow. Unbelievable. All right. Very, very cool stuff. Good luck with that. Thanks, Ray. Awesome. Appreciate it.
All right, so. All right, now we're gonna get into a little guacamole. So this, this is what we like to call in firehouse, a little bit of nosh. While everything is cooking, we'll usually make something before the meal that the members, the brothers, because we got some- A little bag. nosh, a guy wrote me, and that's actually a Jewish term. Oh, really? Nosh, I didn't know that, and the guy wrote me from Brooklyn. Yeah. He said, I'm watching your show, you guys called it nosh, I started laughing. <laughs> and he goes, that's actually a Jewish term. And I was and like, that's, oh, that's, wow, that's actually pretty, because I had no idea where it came from. So now we've got, yeah, we we've got nosh the Spanish, the Spanish, Italian, Italian, Irish, Irish, now we got the Jewish hey, in there. Good about it. Yeah. All right, so, while I'm doing this here, um, my two assistants. assistants. Uh, they're gonna. Uh, they're gonna uh, I'm gonna chop up. They're gonna chop uh, up some uh, cilantro. Cilantro. And I got the tomatoes. And he's got the tomato. Once again, that's the, that's the third thing he's done so far today. Yeah, that's, that's more than enough. Yeah. All right. That's we'll just All leave right. this on the side. Yeah. Forget about it. Good All job, right. Chris. Now we got our onions. We're gonna put a little bit of onions Thanks, in there. <laughs> little bit of onions. Tell me when. That's good there. And also, uh, some people like to use garlic. I use garlic. Uh, we can put a little garlic, but it's, like I said, this is all, uh... I think those onions will give you enough taste right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Awesome. My junk pot. A little, uh, pepper. That's all. And we're gonna have a little dash of salt. Once again, this is something you play around with if you, if you feel it's not salty enough, and you can add a little bit more salt to it. And while I'm doing this, if someone just minds cutting the, uh, the lime up, we'll just give it a little squirt of lime. All right. A little hint of lime. lime. Just a little uh, triangle? Yeah, or, or that's fine. We're just going to squirt a little bit of lime juice in here. Oh, my God, too much. I'm kidding. No, that's fine. Look at that. All right. All right, so now a little trick here. The pits, a lot of people throw them out. I like to put the pits in the up um, with the guacamole just because it, it, it allows it, prevents it from turning brown very fast. All right, All right so, so we got our guacamole. We got our guac. We're going to take our chicken out. Let's take our chicken out. All right. Chicken's ready. All right, safety first with the chicken just because it's hot. Grab some mitts. All right, we'll grab there some mitts. Go. Wow. We got it all. You know you're in a man. firehouse when the mitts don't even match. Oh, uh, yeah. Either the cups, either do the plates. All right. So let's just show everyone the chicken. All right. It smells good. Oh. Yeah, if you grab a plate, we'll actually put this, uh, we'll actually put the, uh, the chicken on a plate and we can pull it apart. It makes it a little easier. Okay. Put the chicken right on the plate. All right, so we're gonna grab the chicken, we're gonna put it on a plate, and then we're gonna start working on pulling the chicken apart. So right. basically, I mean, it works. If you got two forks, it'll work. So we're not cutting it, you're just gonna no, rip no. it apart? No, no, yep, you're just gonna rip it apart, it's yeah. Like pork. Yeah, like we, a pulled pork. steal a little piece of chicken. Mm. All right, well, it's pulling this chicken apart. We're gonna make some enchiladas, and we'll see what 326 has got, all right? And we'll see, you know, 160 has been complaining about you guys. Zero. So we'll see if it's right. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. This is quite a plate, Jesus. Thank you, Chris. This is a little ridiculous. This is for one person? That's for one person. And you were telling me one time you made it for... Well, the first time I made it, I didn't know the portion, so we actually put two enchiladas on a plate with everything you see on a plate, and, and I guess it was a good meal because everyone ate it. I had no complaints. My goodness. Beans look great, rice, guacamole, which I love. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. All right. Let me give the beans a little taste first, okay? Delicious. Very good. Mmm. Well, the peppers really bring that together. Wow. And it's very wow. colorful, too. It adds a little color. It's very colorful. Very colorful. We're hitting all the we ethnic like groups color. here. We like color. Yes. Let's see a little guac. I love guacamole. And it's guacamole very, is very easy to make, and it's very good for you, yeah. And now for the enchilada. We put the sour cream on the side because not everybody likes sour cream. Exactly. You put sour cream on some guys in the fly house, he'd be like, Doug, man, I like sour cream. So we put it on the side. Yeah. All right. So I put the side, I'm gonna put one right on my, my first bite. Get the cheese, I got some chicken. All right, let's give it a whirl. I'm something that he probably is never speechless. No, no, he, he, does, he, he, that, that, I, I would love to I say he's speechless. He has a lot to say. <laughs> he definitely has a lot to say. Unbelievable. Hey, Seuss, thank you. 326? Hey, yes, sir. Tell 160 I said hello. <laughs> all right, Chris. Great, thanks awesome. for having us on. We love your show. We watch it all the time. Very, you know what? I hear that a lot. You know, yeah. it's really nice. <laughs> but, um, awesome. And good luck with the track, Bill. Thanks, man. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um, to find out more about Firehouse Kitchen, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. Friend us on Facebook, give us a tweet. I'll see if I can answer you, or I'm definitely going to read your tweet. Um, and that's it. And we will see you next time on.
Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. All right. All right, let's eat some chicken enchiladas. Very nice, from 326. Funding for Firehouse Kitchen is brought to you by RW Prime. Good times, great steaks. Located at Resorts World, New York City. Murph's Famous Bloody Mary Mix. One sip, one believer, party with the Murph. Shallon Self-Defense Center. Classes for men, women, and children. Kick with the best. Fire News. Serving heroes since 1973. Gentle Dental, located in Eastport, New York. Rene Dumay, fine jewelry located in East Islip, New York. DiCarlo Food Service, serving the food industry since 1963, located in Farmingville, New York. Now you can enjoy Firehouse Kitchen at your own leisure with Firehouse Kitchen DVDs. Rewatch your favorite recipes and stories with this DVD collection. Yeah. 